Hey everyone, Katie from Moon Design Lab here, a boutique web design studio that is committed to telling your story through your website. This week I'm going to be sharing how to add the Google Analytics tag to your Divi website. Now, Google Analytics is an excellent way to track how your users are interacting with your website. So, what pages they land on, how they come to your site, um, and this can be really useful for determining what content of yours is the most popular and also seeing what channels people are finding your website from, like social media or finding it organically through Google, of course. So please stick around and I hope you find this helpful. Let's get started. All right, friends, here we are on the Google Analytics dashboard. To add a new account, you'll click Admin and then Create Account. Here you'll type in the account name. I'm just going to put MDL Dev Site. Hit Next. Add the property name, same thing, MDL Dev Site. Then hit Next one more time. And here you can pick the industry that you're in. You can see there's a lot of different options you can choose from. I'm just going to pick hmm, business and industrial markets. Why not? I'm a small business and I'll also select some things that I'm interested in learning by using Google Analytics. Then hit create when you're done. Of course, you have to accept the terms and conditions for using Google Analytics. So go ahead and do that and hit I accept when you're done. And there you go. You've created your new account for your website. So there are three different ways to set up a data stream. We are on the web, so we will use the web data stream. So click on that. And then here you'll want your domain for your website. So go ahead and copy and paste and make sure you don't have HTTPS included in there. And of course, Name the stream, <laughs> the name you want. So MDL dev site, it is again. Then hit create stream. This will generate the code that you need to embed in your website so you can start collecting data. So you can see that it worked and it was successful. And to get the code, we want to click on global site tag and copy and paste everything in that white box there. Then we'll head on back over to our WordPress dashboard and go to Divi and then click on the integration tab. Now you'll take that code and you will paste it right into this section right here that says add code to the body tag. And you'll paste it and then scroll down and hit save. And boom, there you have it. You have integrated Google Analytics with your Divi website. Now, when you go back to the analytics dashboard, you can click and close out of the stream details and then click the little home button. And on the home page, this is where you'll see the users that have been on your website for certain days, the amount of users in the last 30 minutes. You can see where your users came from by device, where they came from by like country, times, all sorts of different pieces of information, you know, acquisition, engagement. So really use this to your advantage and you're all set. All right. So there you have it how to add the Google Analytics tag to your Divi website. I hope you found this useful. If so, please hit the like button below and also subscribe to my channel if you want to stay in the know. I also drop a weekly newsletter that comes out every Thursday along with these videos that talks about web design tips, any new websites I've launched, and free assets that I find for websites and free as always great. So I would love to keep in touch with you and I hope you join my community. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye bye!